Hey guys, I'm Andrew and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your oven eGPU. When I started this project I did not expect some large difference. Actually I expected 2 or 3 times better performance, but I never expected 9 or 10 times better performance. This is Toshiba laptop with Intel i3 CPU and Intel HD 4600 graphics. When I run the benchmark test using the Intel HD graphics, I got 1 to 4 frames using the 1080p resolution and ultra settings. But when I run the benchmark using the iGPU with Nvidia GTX 960 on the same laptop, I got 32 to 60 frames. That is a very huge difference. Before I start with this guide, first I must say that not all laptops are supported. Some small number of laptops are unsupported and not every graphic card is recommended to use it. In the description below the video, I will place an additional information about supported and unsupported laptops, which graphics are recommended to use it and troubleshooting. In this video, I will go step by step what you need, how to prepare your laptop and how to connect and install the graphic card. To connect the desktop graphic card to the laptop, you will need this EXP GDC dock. This dock can be connected to the laptop using three different ways. Using the Express card, using the Mini PCI Express and using the NGFF, which is similar to the Mini PCI Express cable. Also you will need graphic card and the power supply. This EXP GTC dock can be connected using desktop power supply or using deal adapter which is made for this dock. Because I want to make this eGPU more stable and easy to move, I made a very simple case. This case I made it from corner aluminum trim and pop rivets. Actually these aluminum trims are used in construction mostly in the wall corners and you can find it in almost any construction or building material store. I used aluminum because it's very light but also is strong enough to hold even the heaviest graphic card and the power supply. I know, maybe it doesn't look good but it's very useful. The graphic card is stable and you can easily move the entire eGPU setup. In the description below the video, I will place dimensions and the guide for this simple iGPU case. Ok, now let's move on the first step. First, you need to prepare your laptop for the new graphic card. You need to disable the automatic driver download and installing. Especially this is very important if your laptop has dedicated graphics and if you are using the Windows 10. Also you have to disable the automatic driver installing if you are going to use the NVIDIA GTX 1060, 1070 and 1080. Because these graphic cards in the most of cases are working with an older NVIDIA driver. Because the latest drivers may cause small functions. Now I'm going to show you how to disable the automatic driver installing in the Windows 10. Select the this PC icon, right click and select properties. From the left side, select Advanced System Settings. In the System Settings, select the Hardware tab. And in the Hardware, select Device Installation Settings. Now, in the Installation Settings, check the No option and save the changes. Ok. Now, before you move to the next step, you will need to download the graphic card driver for the graphic card that you are going to use. In my case, I will going to download the NVIDIA GTX 960 driver because I'm going to use this graphic card. Now let's move on the next step. If you are using laptop with dedicated graphics, you will need to uninstall the dedicated GPU driver. To uninstall the GPU driver is recommended to boot into the safe mod and using the DDU or the display driver uninstaller software to uninstall the GPU driver. In the display driver uninstaller you can choose 
clean install and restart or clean install and shutdown option. Actually, these two options are right options. I mean, no matter which option you will choose, you won't wrong. In the description below the video, you will find how to access in the safe mod for Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Now, let's move on. How to connect the PCI Express cable to your laptop? On some laptops, the Wi-Fi, I mean the mini PCI Express, is right under the first smaller panel from the bottom side of the laptop. But in some cases, the Wi-Fi is inside the laptop and you have to open the entire laptop, like in my case. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics, because every laptop is different and if you don't know how to open your laptop, then you can check the YouTube or search the Google. Basically first, you have to remove all the screws from the bottom side and the screws which are placed under the removable panels. The next, what you have to do is to remove the keyboard, because in the most of cases, under the keyboard, there is another screws. And when you're going to remove the keyboard, be very careful, because the keyboard is connected to the logic board. When you are going to open the bottom panel, always start from the largest open space. In my case, that is the CD-ROM, because from this point it's more easy to open your laptop. And especially be careful on the part around the cooling, the display ports and the USB ports, because at this point it's very easy to damage the laptop case. After removing the panel, if your laptop has built-in battery, first disconnect the battery from the logic board. Because if the battery is connected and if you remove some parts like the Wi-Fi, then you may damage the Wi-Fi card or the logic board. Because my battery is already removed, first I'm going to disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas and I'm going to remove the Wi-Fi. After removing the Wi-Fi, in the same mini PCI Express, I will connect the eGPU cable. Because I won't use the CD-ROM, I will pull out the eGPU cable from there. Actually, without the CD-ROM, there is an out space to put the entire cable inside the laptop. And if I want to move the laptop or take with me, it will be more easy. After connecting the cable, carefully back all the screws and the keyboard at the right place. Because I removed the built-in Wi-Fi, in my case, now, as internet connection, I will use this USB Wi-Fi dongle. And now, the laptop is ready for use. Now, let's move on how to connect the iGPU dock to the power supply. To connect the EXP GDC dock to the power supply actually is very simple. In the package with the EXP GDC dock, you will find this power cable. 20 pin connector plus CPU 4 pin connector to 8-pin connector. This 20-pin connector, which has only one wire, you have to connect to 20-pin connector on the power supply. Actually, this cable from the power supply has 24 pins, but you have to use the 20 pins only. The other 4-pin connector, you have to connect to the CPU's 4-pin connector from the power supply. After connecting these cables, connect the 8-pin cable to the 8-pin connector on the front side of the EXP GDC dock. If your graphic card requests an additional power, then use the cables from the power supply. I mean, connect the GPU power cables directly from the power supply to the GPU. The next thing what you have to do is to connect the eGPU cable 
from the laptop into the HDMI port on the EXP GDC dock. Now you can connect your laptop and the power supply to the power and you can start your laptop. Also, until you set up the new graphic card, it's recommended to use external display. Now let's move on the final step. The final step is installing the GPU drivers. If you are going to use the NVIDIA GTX 600, 700 and 900 series, then you can use the latest NVIDIA drivers. If you are using the NVIDIA GTX 1060, 1070 or 1080, for now, in the most of cases, you will need to use the older NVIDIA driver. Also, I will place link from this driver in the description below the video in case if you need. If you are 80 Radeon user, then you can go with the latest drivers. Personally, I test the 80 Radeon RX 480 with 8 gigs and everything is working well, without any issue using the latest drivers. Let's move on the benchmark tests. In the first test, I will use the Valley Bench. And first, I will start with the Intel HD graphics. The resolution is 1080p and extreme settings. Now, let's see how this laptop is performing with the eGPU with the NVIDIA GTX 960. The second benchmark test, I use the superposition benchmark. Because the Intel HD won't allow me to select 1080p resolution, in this test I use 720p resolution. Make your own iGPU. Well, if you have some laptop with good CPU but without dedicated graphics or laptop with low performance dedicated graphics, then this EXP GDC dock will really help to boost your laptop. With this, you can save money from buying a new laptop or desktop computer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you have some questions, feel free to post a comment. 
In the description below the video, I will place a link from this EXP GDC dock and a lot of more information about the eGPU and troubleshooting. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.